Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Now this is not part, I mean, it is part of the video, but the video's coming. I wanted to jump on here. This is being uploaded on February 14th, 2023. And I wanted to jump on here real quick and say happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I had filmed this the other day and I didn't know what day it would go up. So I wanted to give a Valentine's Day message. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope your day is full of love, hugs, kisses, roses, all the good stuff. But let me just say, I know that some of you, your Valentine may have passed away recently or even years ago and you're still heartbroken. I know that some of you uh, lived many battlefield years that ended in divorce and you are left devastated and heartbroken and you think Valentine's Day is not for me. Well, I just wanted to take a brief second and just tell you that yes, Valentine's Day is for you because the greatest love in the world is for you. And I just wanted to tell you real quick, you know my heart, <laughs> but Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that he came and gave his life for you. And so I just wanted to start this video with a happy Valentine's Day message. Even if you think Valentine's Day is not for you, let me tell you, it is. Because the greatest love in the world is just for you. And isn't that special? Isn't that special that he loves us so much that we are the apple of his eye? So, just wanted to come on and say this. Now, on to the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. I am the Farm and Pastor's Wife and welcome to my kitchen down here on the farm. Um, if you're new, I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification and give me a thumbs up and definitely be sure to share my videos. And if you're not new, welcome back everybody. You know how much I love you. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. Today, we're going to make cupcakes. I'm in the mood to bake cupcakes, and that's something I don't bake a lot, but we're going to make today, we're going to make Rocky Road Cupcakes. Yum. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside so, in all honesty, today is Saturday, um, the 11th, February the 11th. Um, I know you are going to see this well after the Super Bowl, but that is why I'm making these cupcakes. I am making them for the Super Bowl party at church. Um, they could also be made for Valentine's, but you'll probably be seeing this probably on Valentine's Day, if not after. So, but who... Who needs an occasion for a cupcake? I mean, come on. You can take these to birthday parties. You can, I mean, it's going to be good. So we're going to make this as easy and as simple as we possibly can and yet delicious. And we're going to start out with a cake mix. I'm like all about the cake mixes and doctoring them up and making them wonderful. That's what I'm all about right now. I have all my homemade cakes. I have all those recipes and I make them and they're delicious. But if you can make a box cake even better, why not go the easy route? So let me grab all my ingredients. I'll meet you back right here. Okay, everyone. So let's go over the ingredients you're going to need. Um, <clears throat> you are going to need the chocolate fudge cake mix. I had thrown the box away. You're going to need some mini size chocolate chips and I just use semi-sweet. You're going to need some mini marshmallows. 
you're going to need some chopped walnuts. You're going to need three eggs, and I will have the recipe down in the description below. Three eggs, you're going to need some water, some oil. Um, you can use your whatever flavorless oil you like to use. You're going to need a can of frosting and some hot fudge. Um, and I just bought this. It says microwavable smokers hot fudge. Um, so that's what I purchased. And I have gone ahead and fixed two pans ready with, and I bought the wrong thing. I somehow got jumbo cupcake liners. So I'm hoping they're going to work. But anyway, we're going, we're full steam ahead going on. So let's get started. Okay, guys. <clears throat> it gives me a minute to get you set up here. There we go. All right, we're going in with our cake mix. Now, I've divided our um, chocolate chips up into, we have a half a cup and a fourth of a cup. And so we're going in our cake mix with the fourth of a cup of chocolate chips. Let's see. We want to go ahead with our water. We want to go in, and that was a cup and a third. I'm being very careful with our half a cup of oil. And we want to go in with our eggs. I'm going to try to do this and not get any shells in. Let me wipe my hands and we'll get this to beating. Okay. That's all that takes right there. Okay, my oven is preheating to um, 325. It's actually going to go into 325. And <laughs> we're going to see how many we get. And I'm just using an ice cream scoop. And I always make a mess doing this, so don't judge me. I'm not a good cake, cupcake baker. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to keep filling them up. I'll bring you back just as soon as they're ready to go in. Okay, everyone, I ended up with um 21 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 yep 21 <clears throat> and um i'll take these liners out it said i should have gotten 22 but i will tell you i know i overfilled over here and i was that's just because i had the jumbo cups and it was hard to regulate so i there's several here that is super full and some of these are super light, so <laughs> it's going to be a hodgepodge of cupcakes. But these are going to go in a 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And so I will see you when they come out. Okay, everyone, here are our cupcakes. They are cooled and ready to be iced. So let me grab all the ingredients and I'll meet you back right here. Okay, everyone, I took my um, 
ice in here and I nuked it in the microwave for about 15 20 seconds um, just to thin it out and make it go a little easier I am an icing girl I love a lot of icing but we don't need a whole lot of icing on this because we have other things we're gonna put on it so I'm gonna let you watch me ice one and then there's no need for you to watch me ice the rest of them because oh my goodness it's gonna take me a while <clears throat> but I'm going to show you how this is going to look, and then Bryant should be in shortly for the taste test. For my comfort and for ease of camera, I'm going to show you one of the ones I overfilled, which means the cupcake's up near the top, and I don't have to like be careful about getting down inside. So I'm going to stir this icing up just a little bit, and we're just going to put a thin layer, and this will this will thicken back up. I just needed it to be a thin layer to easy to decorate. So let me get you turned down. I thought you could see, but you can't. Okay, I've put a very thin layer of icing on this cupcake. And then we're going to take a few of our chocolate chips. I'm going to sprinkle a few chocolate chips. We're going to place about four, maybe five mini marshmallows, maybe six. Huh. All right, there we go. Now let's open up some walnuts. You can definitely toast up your walnuts if you want to. <clears throat> I like walnuts untoasted. I just prefer them untoasted, so... So I grabbed a plate to make things a little bit easier and less messy. So now we're going to take our walnuts and just sprinkle a few on there. Let's get a few more. There we go. And just to round things off, I have heated up our hot fudge. I'm just going to drizzle that on top a little bit to kind of hold everything down. And there you have a delicious Rocky Road cupcake. Is that not beautiful and delicious looking? Okay, I cannot wait for Bryant to come in and taste this for you guys. So, while I'm waiting on him, I'm going to keep icing the rest and... I'll meet you back as soon as he comes in the door. Okay, guys, I've I've lined them all up on a bread sheet. <clears throat> and I am just um, decorating away like this. And I don't have to worry about making a mess or overspilling because it's all on my cookie sheet. And it doesn't really matter. And I hear Bryant coming in, so hang on. Okay, everybody, minus the dark cookie pan. Look at those. Do they not look amazing? Yum, 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 yum. How do I say no to these? I'm not sure I can, but we're going to let Bryant give the first one. I that can we, say yes. He can say yes. The first one we did, and I made a mess around it, but that's okay. We're going to let him give this a taste test. Hey, do you hear that? What? My stomach growling for this or, cupcake? do you not hear that? Oh, <laughs> I haven't even mentioned that. Oh, we're going to tell you a funny story. <laughs> oh, well, do you want to tell them on couch time on Sunday? or Because uh, this will be after Sunday. We'll have already told them on Sunday. We'll tell them on couch time. Okay. So you'll have already heard. You know. So this video is going up about. next week? Yeah, this is next week's Look video. Look how beautiful that right there is. That, oh, all but the nut I just dropped. That is so gorgeous. You want a bite? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, yes. <laughs> she has done so well. How, how much weight have you lost this week? Um, five. <clears throat> five and a half pounds. One of the viewers made a made a statement. <clears throat> they said, "If I was going to keep doing your taste test, I need to wear the microphone because they can't hear me." Oh, we'll talk louder. <laughs> I'm talking louder. <laughs> I forget about that microphone. Right. I'm scared to bite this. Why are you scared to bite it? Because you're gonna make a mess. I'm gonna have chocolate all over my mouth. Here we go. You ready? 
<laughs> that is double chocolate restaurant bakery good right there. Bakery good? Oh. I've gotten restaurant good before, but I've never gotten bakery good. That is a fat man's dream right there. Do you like chocolate? Hmm. Do you like Rocky Road? Nope. Well, now you got some Rocky Road cupcakes, and they were so easy. That's the hit. That will be the hit of the birthday party, or the Super Bowl event, or whatever you're going to. We're. I know you're seeing this after the Super Bowl, but that's what we're taking these to. So we're going to be taking these to the Super Bowl party, mm. and um, if they make it, I'm not sure they're going to make it. Because okay. Isaac's not going to come over here in a minute. Okay. <laughs> they may not make it. Okay, all right, so we will see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. You got to make you Rocky Road Cupcakes. So thank you guys for joining us. Remember, share my videos. That is the best way you can support our channel, and we appreciate it so very much. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.